All right, hello ladies and gents, and welcome to the ESL1 qualifiers. My name is Kainite, and alongside me today is the one, the only Hoss. How are you, mate? You all right? I'm good, man. I'm recovering from the previous ESL1. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to turn you up, but wow, it looks like we're live, and Miles have got four kills already, and... Well, let's just say that uh, they've utilized the new Tech Nines in the game. Let's leave it at that, and I think I should probably turn you up. <laughs> yeah, the patch has certainly been kind to the Tech Nine. The Deagle, too. But we're going to be seeing a lot of Tech Nines coming out. Also, the Scout got a slight buff, and we're seeing it being used here straight away by Chris J, who will get a kill through doors onto Rise to open up this second round, of course. The T's do have guns here. Uh, they're going to be moving around, try and get picked if they can. But now, Alu, and if there's anything down long, he'll throw an A through doors. That'll tag uh, Pacio, uh, Portelito, sorry, rather low, down to 20 HP. There's a huge nade coming in, and this seems like the B site is free for Mouse to take whenever they choose. The bomb is around the other side. Alu gets one, he gets dropped, however. Japao getting a second there for his team at long, and now Nuki has come back to the top of mid. He'll get one onto Portelito, and there's one left, and Lagger will finish that one off, taking it to 2-0, and it's going to be another eco for Magic Gaming, the Portuguese side here. Yeah, it's safe to say that Mouseports well and truly are the favourites to win this game, and no surprise, they're the professional team. I'm not sure whether Magic are on a salary or not, but they are a new and upcoming Portuguese team, probably just about being able to rival Kick, but here we go, Chris J trying to get a... He's, he's actually dealt damage through double doors. Portolito now making his way towards long. Alu the Finn gets one kill. Alu with two before Portolito puts him to sleep. And is Tabson going to drop Portolito? He does. And at the moment it's just AKs versus pistols. And maybe prior to the update we might have seen the CZs reign supreme. But in this case, I guess you can argue that we're seeing the Tech Nines reign supreme. Dear me, what a weapon. Yeah, people are going to be using the Tech Nine, and they're going to be climbing matchmaking with it, and we're seeing it being used well here. As you said, it will most likely replace people buying the Caesar. It's just a little bit more expensive. Obviously, it has a lot more ammo, which was always the drawback of the CZ. And we're going into the first buy round here for both teams. After Magic have gone 3-0 down due to losing the pistol and then Ecos. Load of nades, smokes and flashes coming on towards this B site. Alu comes out of smoke. He'll get one but will drop slower. Sl sl slurring my words here. He'll get dropped quickly <laughs> after. And now it's two players left. Four males versus four. The bomb is down in this B site though. So it's under control of Magic Gaming. Samson makes his way through lower tunnels. Chris J in upper tunnels. Tabs in mid, will get spotted by Japao. All down to Chris J. Smoke's going through tunnels just to... Pit floor! Just to refresh that one, he'll get a kill between both smokes going in and out. But it's Portolito with the orb. He'll spot Chris J as he runs into the site. Misses the first shot. Flashbang goes out. Kikorius coming through with the M4 and he'll finish the round out. First round of the game going to Magic and it didn't take them too long with their guns. No, they'll be happy about that. They don't want to, you know, lose a pistol round, then lose the next two bog standard rounds, and then lose another round, which would force them to eco, which would put them a massive five nil down so early on in the game. Now, Ddos two. Many argue it's a T-sided map, and there we go. That's going to be first blood. Tabson through the doors. Tabson with two, and well, we came to see frags, and so far, Tabson and Legia have given us exactly that. It's Yapao and Kikoris left standing for the CTs. Kikoris is down, leaving it 5 versus 1, and this is going to be difficult, it's going to be very, very hard for Yapao to try and pull this one out the bag, but maybe he can't, they know he's on A site, they threw two nades towards him, and Legia says, thank you very much, I'll take my second kill of the round, and it, it's good to see that character from Mal Sports. you know, they lost that, 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 that fourth round, they didn't let their heads drop, they kept on fighting, and uh, they've returned the three round gap which they had uh, going into the previous round. Yeah, and that's what you want to see from experienced teams. They they lose round one round, but the mentality is still high, and they just get back on the high horse and get the round in there. And it's forced Magic onto an eco here for the third time in this game, I believe. 
Alu's still... Alu's been playing really passive at long here at double doors, not wanting to force his way through just yet. As Tabson comes around the corner on short, he'll get a triple... Well, a double with Nookie coming in behind. Great play there from those two players. And this has opened up the A site for them completely. Alu still hanging back, seeing if anyone pushes through mid. And that's going to be raised, who will get picked off there. And it's all down to Pachiko. Uh, Norks, sorry. Bit of a weird name there. And it's Norks. Who is sat round by CT here, or, yeah, Legia goes through, there we go, Nox will get one as Legia rotates, he'll get himself an AK, he'll probably want to save this, smoke goes down, he won't be able to find another, but Chris J comes around with the Tech 9, finishes that round off, taking it to 5-1. Yeah, Chris J really loves that Tech 9, doesn't he? And uh, one, one new thing we've noticed, obviously, other than the Tech 9 change in this new update, they've changed how much damage you can, act uh, oh, you can actually deal through double doors, which is why we saw Mouse Sports uh, staying in T-Spawn and spamming with the AKs uh, down towards double doors, hoping they might get a lucky frag, because I think it deals pretty much almost 100% damage now through double doors, which is an interesting choice by Volvo, nonetheless. Tabson gets his, gets his, an easy two, man. Portalito, though, with the double. Chris J is looking for him with a Tech 9. And look who it is. It's Chris J with his Tech 9 again. He loves that weapon. Leaving it three versus two in favor of the Germans. It's three versus one now. Rised. Last man standing all alone. He's in CT spawn. And the XMTW man in Nookie knows exactly where he is. Nading him there. Starting to surround him. But they need to get the bomb down. Nookie will drop down. Rise gets the kill. But Legia is just behind to sweet to take out the trash. And I just want to apologize and get this out of the way uh, right now. Because uh, the fact that there's no radar, that's due to the new update or something along those lines. And I don't know how to fix it. So guys, if you know how to fix the, the whole radar issue, just uh, let me know in Twitch chat. And there we go. Not, not, not a bad way to introduce himself into this round from Chris J. Yeah, he's going to get that AWP shot to start things off. Nokia as well. Making sure that uh, Magic know he's there by firing some auto snipe shots through. And Japau will get dropped by that said auto sniper. And Nookie's going to find another one there and a wow. third for himself. Oh, no, second. Chris J just pops his head around and finishes off with the Tech 9. Not like we've seen that one before. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. 7-1, mouse balls look comfortable. Chris J is on over $13,000, and I think the reason as to why he has so much money is because he's gotten so many kills with the Tech 9, but here we go. They're just spamming through double doors. They're not letting the CTs cross, and Volvo get this fixed because this is... This is game breaking, but here we go. Mouse sports stampeding towards the B bomb site. Rise gets one. Rise gets two. Can't get the third. Legia and Nookie, last men alive for Mouse sports. And let's see whether they can repel this CT attack as they try to retake the B bomb site. They're both in there. Kikoris is going to start rotating as well, and yep, your pal is going to slowly make his way through tunnels. So they are going to surround Mouse sports, but the bomb will go down. The CTs have around 30 seconds to try and defuse it, to try and infiltrate the bomb site and take out both of these Germans. Let's see whether they can do it. It's Legia who's going to be the first to drop. They know exactly where Nookie is, but he has the all-powerful order sniper. Ah, oh, and you know what? I had a funny feeling Nookie was going to do it. He's got so much experience under his belt, and that extra bit of experience can be the make or break of a clutch like that, but... Portolito on 1 HP managed to live to fight another day and the Portuguese team finally have another round on the board. Yeah, I think that was 1 HP with no armor as well there, so... Some say lucky, some say calculated, whatever he wants to fall back on. They get their second round and some team damage coming in there onto Nuki as he will lose 19 points of HP there from Chris J. Also going to go into this round slightly hindered, but it shouldn't affect them too much as they make their way towards short. The bomb is long, rotating towards top of mid on Nookie's back. Alu throws a flashbang over as he peeks, and Kikorius opens things up with a headshot and tabs in. Rised is over here on the B side, looking into smoke for now. Alu will peek round here, he'll get the kill. Onto Portolito, oh. drop down, get a second off <laughs> shot. And he knows exactly where Norx is, he throws the nade out. Tags Norx up to half health, this smoke will disappear soon. Makes his way through mid, he won't spot the head of Chris J, but Chris J will hear him. But Norks will be the first to react to that one. Alu shot through smoke onto Rise, and now it's one versus two for Norks. 
Bomb gets planted down on this A site, and Orcs is in CT. It's a little bit of an awkward situation for him. We'll have to come up from lower. Alu is looking at long. Norks window of opportunity here as Alu looked away. Flashbang comes out. Alu refaces. Norks comes big without losing any health there from that trade. And it's him versus Nookie. Nookie was previously injured by his team. Will it make a difference here? It's Nookie who will pick up the headshot. That early team damage didn't really matter there. But 8-2 now for Mouse Sports. They've lost only two rounds so far. Showing their dominance already. Yeah, going into this game, we always knew that they were always going to be the likely winners. Just to clarify, guys, if you've just joined us, this is the uh, ESL1 South. Oh, there we go. Same old story. This is the ESL1 Cologne qualifiers. It's Mouse Sports against Magic. Mouse Sports, they got a buy into the second round, and we can see why. Chris J goes big with the triple tech nine. <laughs> and Volvo. Sorted out. I know I always I, I always seem to rip into Volvo and yesterday I was ranting on Twitter about this new update, but hey, they're proving me right, I think. <laughs> yeah, but at least now you get to use all those nice Tech 9 skins that you've won on CSGO Lounge that no one really wanted before. <laughs> the this well. round start. No, uh, yep, it will be Norks that gets dropped by the AWP of Nook. He's been playing well with those rifles so far, Rised. Evening things up, 4v4 now, as he picks one up in tunnels. Mike and Mouse are making their way towards short, but poor Telito will be the first to get the kill as this terrorist advance towards the site. He'll get a second there with the AWP, but won't be able to get a third as Chris J. Sec9 reigns too strong for him. <laughs> but Kikorius will set things straight. Now he's just leggy le le left. Why deep on this A site now? I don't know whether the seas will be expecting it, but after that grenade, they certainly will. The smoke goes out from Rise. Going to be stopping any advance from the mouse sports player here. Find anything through the smoke? He's found a little window, but there's no one there. He's going to be playing this one passively because, of course, they don't need to move at all. They have the bomb. Neggy Joe will throw the smoke out. Tech 9 is going to get one. And he'll get oh. the second, of course, because <laughs> the Tech 9 is just that strong right now. Of course, though, Kikorius didn't really need to face that, nor did his uh, teammate. But they chose to after the smoke came out. They thought they could get it 2v1. Unfortunately, Mouse Sports came out on top there. 10 2. Wow. The Tech 9, man. The Tech 9. I mean, I don't know how to even, you know, explain it in words. We went we went from the CZ, which people were complaining yeah. was overpowered. And to be fully honest, they've given us the Tech 9, which is twice more, uh, twice as powerful as the CZ was. So, someone was mentioning in the chat as to whether Valve actually test their patches. I don't know. That's a question you'll have to, you'll have to ask good old Gabe, not me. But here we go. Nookie with the machine gun kill. Chris J with another Tech 9 kill. I think Chris J, I think something about 90% of his kills so far have been with the Tech 9 up against CTs who have even sometimes had M4s and SMGs in hand. So, wow, the Tech 9 really is turning out after this patch to be a huge decisive factor in CS because the CTs, of course, don't have it. Yeah, is it not something like 32 bullets per clip on a yeah. Tech 9? Yeah. So that's more than an M4, more than an AK, more than an M4 silence, but poor Teleto! Opening things up with a no scope at point blank range. Alu's going to peek around the corner in mid. Get the first kill with his very nice red line AK. And he'll get a second here onto Rise. And he'll get taken down from CT spawn. Making it three versus three now. Tabson coming through mid. He knows they're in CT. He'll get one. But it will be a one for one trade as it's now just Chris J and Nookie left. Away on short. They've caught the CTs out by surprise now. They can hear the mouse sports players have made their way through short. Going to be planted in smoke. How effective this Negev will be for Nuki. See? Sitting tight to the boxes. That's exactly where I plunge. Chris J gets the orb shot. And now it's just Kirokius on short. And the Negev takes him down to half and will finish him off there. Taking it to 12-2. And I'm expecting this game to be over, over rather quickly now. Yeah, twelve two. Particularly now, if Mal Sports go and take, go and take this round, which will lead them going into the second half with a thirteen two lead. Should they win their CT pistol round, then 
to be fully honest, I think it'll be good night Vienna or good night whatever the capital of Portugal is, which I don't seem to know. Lisbon. Lisbon, that's it. Anyways, here we go. It's going to be Kikoris, the man from the Portuguese side, to get the wall bang up against uh, Mouse Sports. His new addition, of course, Alu, the ex ens man. Chris J doing what Chris J does best with the Tech 9. He's going to face another CT here around the corner. He sees a flash coming out. Chris J gets one. He's going for the triple. Chris J going huge with the wow. four man. Chris J is Lord of the Tech 9. And Legia will win the round for Mal Sports. And you know what? I honestly feel, feel sorry for these CTs. Yeah, but don't worry. They get the Tech 9 now. So we'll see if it's just Chris J that can use it or whether the Portuguese guys have mastered the Tech 9 in such a short time as well. Be the pistol round to start things off for the second half. And we've seen no Tech 9s been bought. They're just going to go for armor and a decoy each, the T's. Don't always see the decoys being bought, but they've opted for them here. Be a 3 2 split. Tapson on long. He'll find one. Will he find a second here? Elsewhere, uh, there have been two kills for the Portuguese guys. Rise will not get the third. Tapson making it three versus two now. It's him and Nookie alive. Nookie's over towards this B site. He's been smoked out for now. Glorious, Norx, and Japau are on this site. Nookie comes through. It's Tapson left. He's got two already. Will he be able to get five? I highly doubt it, but we'll see if he can make the plays. Norx comes through, gets the headshot with the Glock. Very nice pistol round from them. They get to win it this time round and force Mouse Sports onto an eco for the next two rounds. Yeah, that round was quite simply crucial. If Mouse Sports had won it, it would have put them on 14 rounds and you'd expect them to go on and win the next two rounds. Assuming that the ter terrorists uh, don't manage to plant the bomb, of course. But they planted the bomb and they won the round. Once again, guys, some people complain about the lack of a radar. Um, it seems to be an issue with the update. I will try to restart the game after this match finishes. But here we go. 13-3. Mouse Sports with a... 10 round lead, which you can argue is uh, quite a healthy lead, let's to, to say the least. It's round number 17 and the team from Portugal are trying to fight back. It's going to be Portolito to march towards the A bomb site. Tabson has, uh, in fact, four of the Mouse Sports players have opted for the brand new Deagle. Tabson with the one dig, and I've missed those one digs. Nucky gets one as well, and CS go that the Deagle, they nerfed it down and, uh, you know, the Deagle... The whole spinning thing on the Deagle, the whole one d thing on the Deagle, that's sensational from Legia. And it, it's those little moments of magic with the Deagle, which we used to have in CS Source, and we used to have in CS 1.6, which we're just sort of missing from CS GO. And now they've improved the Deagle, it doesn't seem anywhere near as overpowered as the Tech 9, and maybe, just maybe... Those good old Deagles are going to win the round for Mouse Sports. They've uh, turned it round and they have one man in their favour. It's three versus two. The bomb's been dropped in, uh, in, in inside the B bomb site, and Kikoris and Portolito know that they need to push out of tunnels. They're going to stand a chance of winning this round. And Legia with the double Galil, 14 3. And well, Magic, that round had their name written, written all over it. They had the weapons, the CTs only had Deagles, and. Uh, they couldn't capitalise on it, and if they end up losing the game, thanks to losing that round, then they probably deserve it. Yep, as you said, those deagle shots are so nice to see. Ali's not going to find anything with a scout early on. As we see, there's T's all going down mid. Except for Kikaros, who's holding back. Tabson will see him cross over. Tabson will challenge him and pick up that first kill with a the deagle. There's another one. Will he get another? No, he will not. Nucky on short, though. He's having fun after the uh, T's got flashbanged, and it's all down to Portolito. Alu with the 5-7 will end this round. It's now match point to Mouse Sports. And what I'm liking from Mouse Sports is that I remember coming home from the ESL UK studios yesterday and seeing on Twitter people talking about some sort of new operation, and I was like, oh, they've done it, they've done it. And uh, what I like about Mouse Sports is. This operation hasn't even been out for 24 hours yet, and they've already mastered it, they've already analysed it, they've already looked at it and decided, right, what can we do to learn this new operation, learn the new weapons, learn the new game, and use it to our advantage, and it's exactly what Mouse Sports have done, but the T's are slowly marching in towards the B bomb side. it's 3 versus 3, slight advantage in favour of the CT's, Nucky blows Yapal to smithereens, Portolito, however, returning with the headshot, leaving it 2 versus is two. It's two Germans against two Portuguese players. 
and let's see whether the Portuguese team can get their fourth round on the board because let's be honest they need it but hello hello look who it is tabs and he doesn't play for ninjas in pajamas but he's a ninja at the moment oh Ooh. brilliant shot from portolito nailing tabs in the head and now 50 seconds to go the portuguese team need to get the bomb down what in the name of god was portolito trying there and now it's one versus one and portolito's quite poor antics to say the least have left rised with a very, very difficult job on his hands. Nucky knows the bomb was last dropped in B, but for some reason he's gone towards double doors. So that's interesting. Rised will pick up the bomb and he will start planting. Nucky, I think he's heard something. He's, uh, he's heading towards the B bomb site. It's Nucky versus Rise. Rise only on 48 HP. Nucky spots Rise. Rise is still on 48 HP. Nucky making no noise whatsoever. He has Rise in his. No! Rise gets the kill. I was getting ready to say that Nucky had Rise in his back pocket because of the amount of noise that Rise was making. But hey ho, a little moment of magic from the team from Portugal. And uh, they've got their fourth round on the board. Yep, and this is going to be a massive uphill climb now for the Portuguese guys. Hey, anything can happen in CS. Leggy is going to spot a T at the top of mid there. Won't be able to get a shot off as the T's push out of these double doors. Long <laughs> Chris J with the one dig as the T's push through. He'll get dropped though as a return kill here. Now, poor Tele Alu elsewhere though. Going to be getting a scout kill. And now it's three versus two in favour of Mouse Sports. The Portuguese guys are going to need to do something special if they want to keep their hopes of qualifying for ESL1 at Gamescom alive but Alu's that jumping scout wow. is so good and he will end it getting three four kills that round even 16-4 Mouse Sports will advance to the round of 32 and they might be playing in front of their home crowd later this year at Gamescom